Uh, let me show you one other thing here real quick. This is also a trick that I've done, oh gosh, in the past. We'll do a little extra here <laughs> because it also has to do with remove.bg. So here, let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. Here's a picture of Maggie as a puppy and I created this little thing which I call a pop-out, a 3D pop-out picture. And these are pretty easy to create in PowerPoint. Again, made super stupid simple with remove.bg. Okay, so isn't that adorable? I will say that one of the things that I do is I've created these for a bunch of people. So here, for example, uh, someone on my Facebook page has a new puppy, right? So they posted a picture. So I create these like this and I post them as a reply to their picture and people go insane. They, they just go nuts over these. Really stupid simple. This is just text, but I'm going to show you how to do this little pop-out trick. Here's one. This is a, a pup named Ruby. Hi, I'm Ruby. I like swimming. Right, so here's kind of how we do this. Let's rack this up a little bit. Right, so here I have a picture of a pup that I got off of Pixels. And all I did was I went to remove.bg and I removed his BG. <laughs> right? Let's take our first picture here and I'm going to crop him down just a little bit. You'll see why in a second. This trick works best for images that are not this tall. Okay, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to try to fix that a little bit. I'm going to go to picture format and crop and I'm going to kind of shorten this up a little bit as much as I can at least. Okay, crop. Right? If you have a nice a little wider image like uh, Finley here, you don't really have to do that particular step, but just be aware that if it's a, a little taller, that's how I might start it out. But now I'm going to go to picture format and I'm going to pick this beveled matte white effect. And it kind of makes it look like a like a picture, right? So let's click on this guy and then I'm going to do the crop to shape trick and we're going to crop this to a trapezoid okay click crop because now I want to make an additional crop and I'm going to bring this down to kind of picture size right and when I crop it makes it look more like a Polaroid picture, right? But it kind of cuts the guy off. That's where remove.bg comes in. Now all I have to do is grab this guy and do this. Put him right on top. Boom! What do you think of that? Then we're uh, pretty much all good to go. Just group those two together. Again, control A, group and there you have it cuteness that cannot be contained any questions yeah that's fun stuff like I say people go insane over those things <laughs> and you know it's interesting effect all right if there are no other questions I'll bid all you fine folks to do try to stay warm okay talk to you all later and have a good one <laughs>